ओके गाइज आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माई चैनल इंजीनियर डू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल इफ यू हैवन डन इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम विच सीज दैट द वी टी ग्राफ फॉर अ ट्रेन हैज बीन एक्सपेरिमेंटली डिटर्मिन फ्राम द डेटा कंस्ट्रक्ट द एस टी एंड ए टी ग्राफ्स फॉर द मोशन फॉर टी इक्वल टू जीरो अनटिल वन एटी सेकेंड्स वन टी इज इक्वल टू जीरो एस इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो नाउ दी मोशन ऑफ द ट्रेन इज डिस्क्राइब बाई दिस uh three intervals that is from 0 to 60 60 to 120 and 120 to 180 seconds so first of all when we will consider the first interval when t is greater than equal to 0 and less than equal to 60 seconds so i am talking about this part of the graph so first of all we have to find the velocity as a function of time for this particular interval so we will take an arbitrary point on this line let's see we will take some point here so let's say this is my point and and its coordinates will be at some t the uh, we will have v velocity value so now we we have to consider uh, this small triangle and then we have to consider this large triangle so the slope of this line and the slope of this small line or uh, we can say that the the slope of the hypotenuse of this large triangle will be equal to the slope of the hypotenuse of this small triangle right so we can apply the slope formula so we can write that slope so slope for the small triangle will be the rise divided by the run so for the small triangle the rise is v minus 0 so we can write that this is v minus 0 and the run is t minus 0 so i will write v minus 0 divided by t minus 0 and this will be equal to the rise of the large triangle right so the rise of the large triangle is uh, 6 minus 0 this 6 minus 0 so 6 minus 0 is 6 and this is the run is 60 minus 0 so this will be 60 minus 0 is 60 and similarly this v minus 0 is v and t minus 0 is t And now sixty uh, divided six divided by sixty uh, is one divided by ten, and we can write that one divided by ten is zero point one. So zero point one. So now we can write that v is equal to zero point one t if we multiply both sides of this equation by t. So we get the velocity as a function of time for this particular interval. Now since we have to uh, draw construct the st and at graph, so we have to find the position as a function function of time and the acceleration as a function of time for each and every interval so now we know that the acceleration acceleration is dv by dt so now the derivative of this will be uh, 0.1 so this is 0.1 and this will be meter per second square so for this particular interval the acceleration is constant which is 0.1 meter per second and similarly if you want to find the s of t function so we know that uh, velocity is ds by dt so this is ds by dt this will be equal to 0.1t and if we multiply both side of equation by dt so this will cancel out and we will have the equation ds equals to 0.1t uh, so now we have to integrate so if we integrate this so we we need to integrate this from 0 to t and when t is equal to 0 s is equal to 0 so s is equal to 0 so this is from 0 to s now when we integrate this this will be s minus 0 if we put these limits this will be s equals to and sorry we need to write this t inside of integration so this will be 0.1 t dt so now if we integrate this this will be t square uh, 0.1 t square divided by 2 and from 0 to t and if we put these limits we will get 0.1 t square divided by 2 minus 0 so we will get the same equation now 0.1 divided by 2 is 0.05 so we can write that s is equal to 0.05 t square now the if you want to find the s at 60 seconds so the s at 60 seconds will be equal to 0.05 and we need to put t equals to 60 in this equation So now this is uh, 0.05 into 60 square. This gives us 180. So this is 180 meters. So now if you want to plot this data, so it's 
at t equals to 60 the s value is 180 so let's say that uh, one box represents this one box represents uh, this represents 200 meters so this is 200 right so so this point is 200 so if it is 180 so we are somewhat below this line so at 60 this will be our desired point so let's say that this is my desired point on the graph that is s of t and as we can see that this is a uh, this is a quadratic equation and the coefficient of this t square is positive so if this is positive this means that the graph will be concave up so now the graph is concave up like this and this graph is represented by this equation that is 0 0.05 t square and for this for this interval the acceleration is constant the acceleration is 0 0.1 so now let's say that uh, this on a t graph the one box this the height of this box is uh, 0 0.05 meter per second square so 0 0.05 and 0 0.05 this will give us 0 0.1 so until 60 seconds the acceleration is constant so we will have the graph like this from t equals to 0 until 60 seconds now for the second interval when t is greater than equal to 60 seconds and less than equal to 120 seconds as we can see that the velocity is constant and the velocity value is 6 meters per second so now the velocity is now the velocity is constant that is 6 meters per second now if the velocity is constant the acceleration will be equal to 0 since dv by dt is equal to 0 so now for the second interval the acceleration is 0 the train is moving with constant velocity and now as we know that velocity is ds by dt so ds by dt will be equal to 6 so now if you multiply both sides of equation by dt so we will have ds equals to 6 dt and now we need to integrate this we will integrate this and now the integration will be from 60 seconds to t and when t equals to 60 the uh, distance traveled or the s value is 180 so this is from 180 to s so now if we integrate this this will be s and this will be from 180 to s and this will be 60 and this is from 60 to t so now if we put these limits this will be s minus 180 and this will be 60 minus 6 into 60 so now if i bring this 180 to the other side of equation so we will have s equals to 60 minus 6 into 60 is 360 and that 180 on the other side will become this minus 180 on the other side will become plus 180 so this 3 minus 360 plus 180 this will give us minus 180 this is minus 180 now the s at t equals to 120 seconds is equal to 6 into 120 minus 180 so 6 into 120 minus 180 this gives us 540 so this is equal to 540 meters now the for the second interval from t equals to 60 until 120 seconds we get this s of t as the equation of straight line and the s value is 540 meters so at 120 the s value is 540 so if if this one if this height is 200 so this is 400 and this is 600 so 540 will be somewhere here so this will be our desired point somewhere here so let's say that this is my point on the graph that is s of t and then we have to join this point and this point by a straight line so i have to join these two lines like this so this is the graph for the second interval and similarly for the third interval now for the third interval when t is greater than equal to 120 second and less than equals to 180 seconds again as we can see that uh, we have this straight line and again we have to take that arbitrary point and then we have to consider those, those two triangles so now we have to consider this particular point on the graph so let's say that this is some v value at some t 
So again, we have to consider these two triangles, this large triangle and this small triangle. So now if we consider this, so now again, we, we need to apply that slope formula, the slope of this line and this large line that will be equal, right? Since it is, they are the part of one same line, right? So we can write that this will be the slope of this triangle will be uh, the slope of this line will be v minus 6 this rise divided by run so we can write that v minus 6 is the rise and this is the run so the run is t minus 120 so t minus 120 and this will be equal to this rise divided by this run so this rise is this rise is 10 minus 6 so this is 4 so 10 minus 6 is 4 and this run so this run is 180 minus 120 so this is 60 so now 4 divided by 60 is 4 divided by 60 4 divided by 60 gives us 1 divided by 15 so let me write it as 1 divided by 15 so this will be 1 divided by 15 and now if i multiply both sides of equation by t minus 120 that is t minus 120 so this will cancel out and we will be left with v minus 6 equals to uh, 1 divided by 15 into t minus uh, 1 divided by 15 into 120 so this answer multiplied by 120 so this gives us 8 so this is minus 8 and now if I bring this minus 6 to the other side of the equation, it will become positive. This is plus 6. And this is, now the velocity is 1 divided by 15 t and this will give us minus 2. This is minus 2. Let me write this as minus 2. So now this is the velocity as a function of time for the third interval, that is from 120 to 180 seconds. Now to find the acceleration for this given interval, we have to take the derivative of this equation, right? Since we know that the acceleration is dv by dt. So dv by dt is the derivative of this v of t equation. So the derivative of this v of t is 1 divided by 15. So 1 divided by 15 is 0 0.067 so this is equal to 0 0.067 meter per second square so the acceleration is constant for this third interval and now to find the s of t function uh, we know that uh, velocity is ds by dt and we know that the velocity for this particular interval is equal to 1 divided by 15 1 divided by 15 t minus 2 and in order to have s of t functions we need to multiply both sides of the equation by dt so if we multiply both sides of the equation by dt this will cancel out and we will have ds equals to this uh, velocity functions times dt now we need to integrate both sides of the equation so we need to integrate this now the integration will be from t 120 seconds this is from 120 until t and when t is equal to 120 the s is 540 so from 540 to s we need to integrate uh, the left hand side from 540 to s now when we integrate this so this integration will cancel out with this d so we will be left with s and this is from 540 to s and the integration of the right hand side will be 1 divided by 15 t squared divided by 2 minus 2 t and this is from 120 to t so now this is 1 divided by 15 so 1 into t squared is t squared 15 into 2 is 30 so we can write that this is t squared divided by 30 so this is t squared divided by 30 so now let's put these limits so we will have s minus 540 this will be equal to t squared divided by 30 minus 2t and then minus now we have to put this lower limit which is 120 instead of t so this will be 120 square divided by 30 minus 2 into 120 so now let's find uh, this constants in the brackets so this is uh, 1 
20 squared divided by 30 uh, minus 2 into 120. So this gives us 240. So this is now we can write that this is uh, 240. And now if I bring this 540 to the other side of the equation, so it will become positive. So we will have plus 540. So now we can write that uh, minus 240 minus 240 plus 540. This gives us 300. So this is S is equal to uh, T square divided by 30 minus 2T and this is minus this will become plus 300. So this is plus 300. Now to find the uh, distance uh, traveled at t equals to 180 seconds we have to substitute, substitute this uh, 180 seconds for t so this will be 180 square divided by 30 minus 2 into 180 plus 300 so this is 180 square divided by 30 uh, minus 2 into 180 plus 300 so this gives us s equals to S at 180 seconds is equal to 1020 meters. Now we have to plot that uh, S of t graph. So at S equals to at S equals to 180 second, the uh, distance travel is 1020 as we have just determined, right? So uh, this one step is uh, 200 meters. So 200, 400, 600. 800 and this is 1000 so 1020 is somewhat here right so at t equals to 180 we are somewhere here right so let's say that we have that point here that is 1020 and since the s of t function for the third interval is a quadratic equation this is a quadratic equation and the coefficient of t square is positive so then uh, it's a parabolic curve and it's going to be concave up like this so we can join uh, these two points this point and this point by a, by a parabolic curve like this so this will be our final s of t graph this is our final s of t graph this is the straight line this is the parabolic curve and this is again the parabolic curve and similarly the acceleration in the second interval is zero since the velocity is constant here the velocity is constant so the velocity is constant the acceleration is zero so if the acceleration is zero, we need to uh, make this line until zero. So this will be zero like this. So let's draw these two lines. This is the acceleration equals to zero. And then for the third interval, the acceleration is 0 0.067. So this uh, one step is uh, 0 0.05. So 0 0.067 is a little bit greater than 0 0.05. So we will be uh, somewhere here, we will have 0 0.067. So this is uh, 0 0.067 and here we will have the graph like this at a t graph right so we will have the graph oh this will be the graph like this so this is this is the acceleration versus time graph and this is the s of t graph